All right, the subject of our video. All right, we're going to yank this door off, and we are going to see if all of this fun rust, I don't know if you can see that down in there, but there's some rust and ugliness. There's a lot of bends. This is bent up up here. We're going to rip this door off, tear it apart, see if we can fix it, put a new skin on it, and see if we can make it look like this door over here. This one's nice and pretty on the outside. As well as nice and pretty on the inside. So hopefully the other side will look like this when we're done. Alright, onto the table. And... And not so bad there. Not so bad there. Uh, quite ugly over here whole lot worse than the passenger side was. All I had on the passenger side was a patch I had to do here. Um, this one going to take quite a bit of patching. We'll see what happens. You know, I'm not a body guy. I'm not a metal guy. But we'll make it work one way or the other. It's not too bad. It's had some interesting little trims and cuts. This is where the uh, little latch for the door striker hits. Actually has a big dent here in it, but not worried about that. But uh, now we'll get on to uh, stripping that panel off and see what happens. All right, it's going to get noisy. All we're going to do is grind right along this edge until it pops apart. This piece will stay on here because it's spot welded in a few spots. But we'll just grind right along here, and you'll figure it out as you go. All right, another issue you're going to run into is on this door panel, you can see where it's the, it, the outside is attached to the inside. This gap is important right here because the vent window goes in here. I've already measured that. I have it written down. Uh, if you notice, this piece comes right to here. It stops there. And there's another piece right here. This piece here is actually this large piece right in here. That we're going to leave in the, in the door. We're not going to take that off. So what we're going to do is we're going to reach in here and there's usually you know one or two spot welds on either side we're going to grind out or just you know you can just cut this out and then grind off but what you want to do is remove this from here and leave this piece intact that way when you go to put your new skin on you have this gap is exactly what it was before it just hooks in goes on now the new skin this piece will probably come up a little further so it'll probably come up further like this which is fine but yeah, that's the next step. We'll just cut this out, make that go away, and then the whole skin will come off. Alright, 
got you set up here looking at this now. So what we're going to do is, is probably cut somewhere over here, we'll cut somewhere over here, cut somewhere over here. We'll just hack that out and then we'll come back and clean it up after we get this off. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll see. I might just cut this out. This spot welds about here. This one... I'm not sure where that one is, actually. I can't quite feel that one. It's somewhere in here. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Alright, let's see what we got. Hoses and cords are going to kill me. Yeah, let me try to get you in the shop. There you go. There's the whole thing. Alright. There you go to do the whole thing. And originally, there is a padding that's on here. It's all the way across. I didn't put this on the other side. I just uh, put extra sound deadening material when I put it together, which is the same thing I'll do here. I figure if you, it's either that or you could use some dabs of adhesive or something of the sort. Yeah, body adhesive, something like that. Whatever you want to use. But if you look here, Now, you see this piece here, this is why I left it, because the mount, this actually is the mount for the vent window. And as you can see, this bolt is broken off. I actually had to reach in here and cut this one off to get the window out. It was not fun. So that's still going to have to come off. I may end up having to take this whole thing off just to get that bolt back out of there if it doesn't just come out easily. All right. And we're back. Some more noise and grinding. And then, yes, I have my safety squints on. Now, what I'm doing here, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it'll start to change color in there. Just keep, if you can't figure out where it is, just keep grinding until it starts turning blue. That just means that your piece you're grinding on has gotten really thin and then just work the way across, make the whole thing really thin, and it'll just pop off no matter where it is.
just like that. See, you don't have to know exactly where it is. Just get close. There's one. So you can figure out where the other one is. It's hiding. Where are you? Where are you? Looks like it's right on the edge down there. I don't know if I mentioned this before, the reason I leave this on here is because that will set my gap here. Even though I have it written down, it's going to set my gap for when I put the door skin on. Whereas the other side I had to cut it loose, it was more of a pain. So this here is like basically, that's ready to go where it is. You just clean it up and then we'll curve around it. We'll have our two holes, we'll weld at an angle through here, and we'll come back and clean it up. Now this one here is that piece we left on earlier. It's got to come off as well. Now we've got to take care of this. This needs to be a straight line when we're done. So I am going to have to see what I can scrounge up. And I'm going to have to build something that's going to go from somewhere over here, somewhere in this area, across here. And then a bridge to hold to go here, and then to grab here and pull this back. And we got to go a little bit further. And with this being a curve here, it's going to be interesting. It's probably going to. And this it, the inside of these panels has a texture to it, kind of like Naga hide. And I would probably going to have to tap this little bump down with the hammer. So. What will most likely happen is, is I will probably end up losing the uh, texture on this door, uh, which is not uncommon. Um, it just it is what it is. It has that uh, Naga hide look to it. Uh, Nagas went extinct back in the 60s. They hunted them to death, and yeah, they're gone. So you know, no more Nagas. So it's kind of hard to replicate that these days. So. We'll pull that, I'll pull it out and uh, we'll tap it down and that'll be the next step. We'll get that straightened out. All right, we're back. And I've scrounged up a piece of two inch square tubing. A um, couple of two by four blocks, C-clamp in there. And that's where we're gonna start. See if that'll work. Well, let's just see, see if we can get any movement out of it, see if we can get this to start to straighten out. Uh, the passenger one is essentially a perfect straight line. On, on here on both planes this way and that way so um, yeah let's see what happens let me uh, give you guys a bird's eye view clunk clunk yeah I know all right let's see what happens Not horrible so far. Prop this up like this a little better. Well, if it would stay there, that actually looks better. That scared me, so I was gonna fall. That could stay right there. That's almost perfect. Well, you guys just don't get a first-hand look. Sorry. I'm new at this. What I'm trying to do is overbend it a little bit. Yeah, that's coming out a little bit, but I don't care.
Let's see. We got a straight edge here somewhere. All right. Let's see what we got here. Now, if I go here, that's really nice. But as soon as I take the clamp off, it's not going to stay. That's what it needs to be. This in this plane. To be honest, it's both perfect both ways. If I can get that thing to stress enough, go back over bend. Now I got a bump here. I know if I tap that, I can probably get rid of some of that. Press that out. Uh, let me try one little thing that I've, that's worked a few times. Not the right way to do it, but it works. Instead of a body hammer, a dead blow hammer. You still get depending on the metal, but you're not going to get as much distortion due to the hammer itself. So, can you guys even see anything I'm looking? No, you can't even see. So I'm sorry about that. All right, there you go. All right. So now, as we're sitting, we are straight this way. We're straight in both planes as it's clamped up. I like it, but. So I got a bump there. You guys can't see it, but I can feel it. I can't even see it. But there's a bump right here. So what I'm going to do is normally you take a, a body hammer on that. But I'm going to use this dead blow and see what I can do to tap that down. It's going down a little bit. If you guys backed up a little bit, you can see the whole thing at the same time. What I'm going to do real quick here is I'm going to put this back in here a little tighter. I'm going to pull this up a little more and let it go. So, let's see how much we lost. When it flexed back. All right. If I go here. It's close. I still got a little bit of a hump there. If I go there. I'm about a hair over a sixteenth at that end. So I, I need to come in a little bit that way. You see that? No, you guys can't even see that. This all needs to be on wheels. Anyway, all right. Back to. I gotta look over my back to see it. All right. Here, I'll just put this over here. Watch. All right. All right. So right now, we're close. This isn't bad. This actually feels pretty good. It feels really good. I, I'm thoroughly surprised on how good that's turned out. Now, if I hold that here, I'm in a straight line here. I've got. Not an eighth of an inch, but it's, I got, it's getting, it's still a little too close to it, but it's better than it was just a minute ago. Now, if I go into this plane, um, it looks like horse puppy. So, we're not, as long as the inspector approves of it, then we'd be okay. Around the corner there. I think, I'm going to call that good. Take you guys down. You can take a look at me down the end of it. You guys don't. I hope you guys can hear me because you're kind of sitting in a box. I got you open, but you know. Yeah, I don't, wanna, don't know what I'm doing. All right. Now, I don't know if you can sight down that. That's pretty straight now. I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. There is still a tiny little bump right in here. And. I think that's just going to stay. So from this edge, I mean, it's you really don't even see it. Pretty good there. Come back around on this side and uh, turn up pretty good. Pretty good. That's much better now. I think I am going to leave that alone and uh, call that done. 
and now we're on to uh, you know step 42 and um, which means I got to do a little bit of sandblasting All right, well here you guys are crooked do a little bit of sandblasting in the areas that uh, I know we're going to need some welding and also pop up the areas that I don't know that are holy and uh, you know weld patch going to be a lot of that and uh, lots of bending little pieces of metal and that's probably going to be in a part two so stay tuned <laughs> 